Hey everyone, my name is Yanis, and in today's video, I want to show you how you can make OAuth 2 API request using Meg.com. Since many APIs are moving away from API keys and using OAuth 2 instead, I think it's kind of useful for you to know how to make such requests to your API. And um, recently, I did a project for my client and the API that was in the project uh, required OAuth 2 authorization so I had to learn how to make this connection and I want to share with you what I learned so this won't be a long video just making a simple API uh, connection uh, using OAuth 2 credentials okay so here we are on a blank scenario and we're gonna choose uh, a module HTTP module and we're going to scroll down and make an OAuth 2 request. So what this module does, instead of you making an API call with an API key, you will be making an API call using your credentials. So how do we set this up? So uh, this I'm going to delete this one. So um, we need to add the connection. You can see I have some connections here. Um, we need to click on add and here we need to fill out all these uh, data that's required for the sake of this video i'm going to show you how to connect to uh, google cloud console and i'm going to create a new project for this and it's going to be my js automate project and in this video i'm going to just show you how to make the authorization so you can use uh, google apis using this authorization method because many of the uh, google apis require you to authorize with oauth 2 instead of api key so basically what we're gonna do now uh, here is the js automates project and we're gonna head to dashboard and we're going to enable AdSense API. So we wait for the enable, wait while well, it enables, and we're going to open the documentation. Okay, so we're going to head to credentials, and here we have our OAuth 2 client IDs. We don't have any, but we're gonna create one. So we click on create credentials, create OAuth client ID. Uh, before we do that, we need to configure our consent screen. So this will be external. We're gonna click on create and app name is gonna be JS Automate AdSense. And I'm going to use my email for support. Nothing here, nothing here. And for the authorized domains, we're going to add make.com and also integramat.com. It's the old uh, make.com domain, but they still use it. So we need to add that. And the developer contact information, this is mandatory. It's going to be JS Automates at gmail.com it's my email so if you want to contact me use this email save and continue uh, okay so now we need to add scopes um, here we click on add scopes and we're gonna search for adsense uh, scopes so we're gonna enable both of these scopes And we're going to click on save and continue. Uh, we need to add a test user. It's going to be me, myself, at gmail.com. Okay, save and continue. And that's it about this part. We're going to head back to dashboard. And we're going to create now our credentials. So click on create credentials, click on OAuth client ID. Application will be web application. And the name will be JS Automates again. 
we are doing this everything this so we can get the data for all that we have here so we need to add authorized redirect urls so here we need to add uh, authorized redirect urls i have them in my notepad i will post them in the video description as well so i'm gonna copy one by one here so let's take create okay so these are my client ids and client secret i will delete these anyway so i just don't want to bother um closing them for this video as you can see i don't create any api keys because i will be using oauth2 authorization method so next we're gonna head to make and now uh, we need authorization authorize url and token url and then we can add a scope client id client secret and etc so we're gonna start with client id this is this one and client secret is this one okay so we now need to add authorize url i have this also copied out so this is this one accounts.google.com etc and the token url is this one okay so here we're gonna add a scope and this one will be for adsense okay and the scope separator is space and we click save uh, we're just gonna name this js automates adsense now it's gonna open this uh, sign in uh, window and i'm gonna click on my email and it asks me to verify this from my phone so i will do that now okay and now i'm gonna click on continue continue okay so we have established our connection and now we can make a, a, a regular api call we you have the same methods as say like for example if we make an api call with an api key we make we use uh, make a request module and um, here we set the target url of the api uh, we choose the method and we add our api key in the header and in the body we usually use json and make the request so and this module uses our google oauth 2 connection so we don't use any api keys we use um, password protected uh, connection with the api i hope you find this helpful as soon i will be uploading uh, a detailed video about this uh, to show you how it works in a real life automation I just this is just a simple overview of how you can establish the oauth2 connection if you find the video useful please like it uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and i hope you have a great day and see you in the next video thank you for watching bye bye